Halloween! Welcome back to my channel. Whoops, sorry. Um, so I'm here with my baby life, Faith, and she does not have a bracelet because I did not make one for her yet. So I thought that would be really fun to make her a bracelet in this video. And also, I was I just did my park video with her, and I noticed that she doesn't really have a little basket or anywhere to put her stuff, so I thought it would be cool to make a bag for her that would hang on these, and it would work really good. So I'm going to make her one with my So Cool sewing machine, and I thought that would be a fun video to do, like, me making things for Faith. And she's really excited too, so let's go! So here's Faith, and I have my Rainbow Loom stuff right here, which is what I make all the babies bracelets with. And the way I do it is I'll take my loom, and I pick nine colors and a white band. So I need to get them a little... I need to get her a little um, clip, a C-clip. Here we go. Okay. And then Faith really likes the color orange. Oops, that one's in the wrong slot. This orange is really shimmery, and I think that's so cool, Faith. You like that? Yeah, I like that orange. You like that orange? What other colors do you like? Um, green. Green, do you want this green, the shimmery green? Okay. Okay, shimmery green. <laughs> and what other colors do you like? Um, purple. Purple, do you want to use this all shimmery ones? That would be cool. Um, yeah. Okay. That sounds like the awesomest bracelet, all shimmery. I think we should do purple in between these two. What do you think? Yeah. Awesome. So then, I will flip it upside down the way you're supposed to do it. And I do orange, purple, green. Orange, purple, green. Orange, purple, green. And then we'll put this white one on. And then I'll just make it accordingly. When I make my Baby Lives Dream Balloon bracelets, I always pick three colors. Uh, yeah, three colors. And then I use three of each color and a white one for the end. So if you guys want to make your Baby Lives one, this works. Like, it's the perfect size for every Baby Alive. I have Baby Lives of, like, every size, and it fits perfectly on all of them. So, it's awesome. That's okay that that happened, but I can move that back. <laughs> this is actually looks like a really cool Halloween-like one. I think Hazel... I mean, I keep calling her Hazel. I think Faith really likes Halloween, don't you? Yeah, because it's almost my birthday. It's almost your birthday, that's right. It's the day after your birthday. That's so cool. So, then I'll take it off. And look at how awesome that turned out. Faith. These colors are so cool. And then I'll take... Oops, I gotta use my foot for this. Take the C-clip. And I... You could use an S-clip too, but I use C-clips. Put it right there. And then... I'll just wrap the white one around. If you guys don't know how to make a rainbow loom bracelet... Um... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Go watch a tutorial. That was like a tutorial. Alright, so here's Faith. So we're going to put it on her arm. And look, this is going to fit her so good. Look, it fits like perfectly. And it's so cute and she really likes it. And you can customize them to be any colors your babies want. You can even make them all have the exact same one so like you know they're your babies. And the cool thing is like if you do this and your friends don't and you have the same doll, you'll know which one's yours because you have the bracelet. So that's awesome. Now let's make her a bag. Here's my So Cool sewing machine, and I have this, like, set with some colors in it that we can use. She probably doesn't want these colors because they're not orange or green. There's purple, but I think she'd rather have orange or green. Actually, I think I have some, I have, like, orange hearts. This one, I have green right here. Actually, this one's pretty. I don't know if she'll want that. It is pretty. But yeah, there's, like, all these cool patterns and stuff. I don't really have to follow a rest like I was gonna say recipe. I don't have to follow like one of the patterns to make it because I pretty much know how to make it. I mean, I could. There's like instructions in these on how to make them, which is cool. But yeah, so I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna make her thing. So face likes this pattern, but I think that like this one would match her wheelchair, or like if I picked a different one that matched her wheelchair because I think it should match, so it'll look cool, like neater and stuff if it matches. I think that would look really cool. 
So I think we're just going to continue looking and find a fabric that matches her wheelchair really good. Because we want it to match. So it'll look cool. This one doesn't really match. It's the closest one. But I think we're going to go with this. Because I think this fabric looks like it matches. I have two of that fabric. And I think it'll look really cool as her um, wheelchair bag. So we're going to use this. We found a bunch of orange decorations if she wanted orange included in it. She really likes, um, I think she said she liked this one. So maybe we'll put that like there. But we have a bunch of like orange decorations, but she likes that one the most. And then handles. I was thinking purple because it matches, but we only have like this much and I want to kind of have a longer strand than just like that. So I think we're going to use pink for the handle instead because I have more pink. So I'm just going to start sewing this together. So my plan is I have this and I'm going to fold it in half and then I'll sew along the sides and I can sew the bottom just to be safe but I don't need to. And then because that fits perfectly right there and then I'm going to put the handles I think on the sides like that so they'll like loop over the handles of her chair and they'll, it'll, I want it to like lay down here and then it can come off. But it'll be like specially designed for a wheelchair and not used for like other things. It'll just be for a wheelchair. So, I'm gonna sew it inside out because then it'll give the bag a cleaner look when it's finished. So how do I turn this thing on? Okay, so here we go. And warning, this is loud. I just want to make sure it's working. So it is going together as you can see. Um, you don't really have a good view of it working, but I'll get back to you. So I got this whole side sewn, and now I'm going to sew the other side, which is this one. And Mittens has been watching. Okay, so both sides are sewn, so now if I flip it inside out, it'll be a little bag. And the corners are kind of rounded, which I think makes it look cute. And it has like, see how it has a really finished, clean look to it? I think it looks really clean and finished. But now I just have to figure out how I want the handles on this thing. So, I probably, I'm going to need scissors. <sighs> I probably going to want it to hang about here, so I'd want this handle like that, and this one probably right there. So I'll probably cut about right here. There. So that's my length that I want. And then I will cut the other one accordingly so it'll match in size and then I'll have two handles awesome and now I can sew them on and I'm gonna flip the bag back inside out to sew it because um, I want the sewing to be on the inside of this so yeah I could also hot glue it in but I want to sew it in so it'll be nice and well put together. So yeah. I've just realized it's very difficult to just sew like this. So I might just end up hot gluing it or hand sewing it without the machine. So I think I'm gonna hot glue it because that's probably sturdier than my hand sewing. So I have this heating up and then we can glue this on. I'm still going to do it inside out. And then I can hot glue her flower on too because that's what she wants. Are you excited for your bag, Faith? Yes, it's going to be really pretty and, and it's going to be very handy. It is going to be very handy, you're right. And it is pretty. So yeah, um, I was just going to ask her again if she was excited, but I already know that. Yeah, we're just waiting for this to heat up and then we can Hot glue her handles on and then it should be done, yay! And what do you think about your bracelet? 
It's so pretty. I love it. And it's um, my favorite colors. Yeah, that's awesome. Alright guys, my hot glue gun is heated up, so now I'm going to put these on and this. I will try my best to video me putting it on. I don't know how well this is going to go, or if I'll have to like stop the video or something. I don't know. But, here we go. So, I'm going to put it on this. I should probably put something in between the two layers so they don't stick together. I have this little bag. I can use this. It's actually perfect. There. Perfect. Okay, so I'm just gonna, you know, I'll probably, yeah, I'll put glue on this. Okay, I've got some glue. I'm just gonna stick that right there. Press it in. Really good. Just gonna smush that on there so good. I'm getting it out of the bag. That's not good. Because I don't want it on the bag. I just want it on my bag. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I've got that. And then, and then I have to do it on the other side. So, I'm sorry if you can't really see. I'll move the glue more towards the bottom of the bag. Or like, brush it down. There's some glue right there I can scoop. No one's gonna see it, but you know, it's the little extras that make it count. All right, I can work on the other side while this one's drying. Yeah. This. yeah, okay. I'm gonna glue right here. side should be good, I think. And then I'll flip it over and go to the other side. There we go. And then, when it's all glued in and done, I will um, flip it over and I'll glue on the flowers. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. Okay, so it doesn't feel that warm anymore, so I'm just gonna carefully pull this out. Okay. The bag is unharmed. Okay, so now I have to flip it right side out. Oh, it looks so clean and cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is like perfect. This is literally so cute. And I'll flip the little handles around. So they go like that. I'm gonna test it on her, her wheelchair before I continue, just cause I wanna see how it looks. So here's her wheelchair. And then it'll go like one handle there and one handle there. <gasps> That's perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. And it, it's like custom made for a wheelchair. I think it'll actually look better if it goes like that. It'll stay on better, I think. That is absolutely perfect. And it, everything will like fit right in there. And then I'll put her little like flower right there. I think she'll like that. Awesome. I want to put a little pocket on too, but I don't know if I'll be able to. But, oh, this is so cute. I have to put this back in to put her little um, flower on. Mainly just has to go right in there. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little dot of glue. Okay. And I'm just going to... It's a thin dot of glue. Like, it's a thin layer. And I'll just press that on for her. 
That'll be so cute. Oh, guys, adorable. I love this bag, and she does too. It matches her wheelchair, and it has her favorite color. So she really likes it, huh? Is this a cute bag? Yes, I love it. You love it? Yeah. Awesome. I'm so glad she likes it. And I'm so glad that I made it for her. Oh, let's put it on. This is the permanent addition to her wheelchair. It won't always be on because she won't always need to carry stuff. But, but when she needs to bring stuff, you can guarantee this will be there. It's so cute, you guys. Alright guys, well Faith really likes her new bracelet and her little bag is so awesome. I love it and I'm so happy that I made it. So, thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments let us know if you think her new bag will come in handy. I think it will and we'll see you guys later. And also, do, what do you think of the bag? And we'll see you guys later. Bye!